everyone, welcome to my DIY furniture rehab IKEA hack. This is an idea I saw on Pinterest and I made it my own. So to get started, here's a few things we're gonna need. We're gonna need a tape measure, a screwdriver, a hot glue gun, a pencil and some sort of sanding block or paper. I used a fine grit. We also need a little bit of wood filler, liquid nails, and something to create the fake drawers. I use pre-cut wood hardware and screws. We also need whatever paint you'd like to use. I use Valspar chalky paint in white and painter's tape. Okay, so to get started, what I did was I unwrapped each and every piece of my wood. I used two different types for two different drawer sizes. I used a three by three pre-cut square and a six by six pre-cut square. Then I measured exactly where I'd like my hardware to be, and after playing with it a little bit, I decided I'd like my hardware to be about an inch from the top of each drawer and marked those holes. I then pre-drilled holes into each square, making it a little easier to put the hardware in after we've already glued everything together. These pieces of wood were thin enough that I could layer them two at a time and screw right through all pieces. Next, I gave everything a really light sanding to prep a smooth finish for painting. And since this wood was inexpensive, it did have a tiny bit of splintering. After that, I took each of the drawers, all four drawers out from the IKEA furniture, took off the original hardware, and did fill in each screw hole with a little bit of that wood filler. And I had already done one coat on each of the squares of my chalk paint, but this is the second coat going on. It did take about three coats to fill in everything properly. I did prime and paint this IKEA piece. This project would have gone by a lot faster had I originally purchased a white version of this, and they do make a white version, but since I purchased this off of Ikea, I didn't purchase this through the Ikea website, I actually found this on Craigslist for 20 bucks. I settled for the black and did the extra coat of paint. And if I were to do this project again, I would think I would wait a little bit longer on Craigslist to see if I could have purchased, I could have found a white one, but that's okay, it worked out just fine in the end. And then I went ahead and measured where exactly I wanted my drawers to be and I measured everything from the top and bottom just to make sure it was as even as possible. And my next step is to take the liquid nails and I couldn't find my caulk gun anywhere so what I did was take a sandwich bag, fill it with liquid nails and glue each piece down. And this you will have to set overnight. And so just to make sure that nothing moved, I went ahead and used a little bit of painter's tape on each of the corners to hold each piece in place. And I did lay this down on a towel face down so that it would have a little bit of natural pressure from gravity. And I did that to each of the drawers. I was so excited, as you can see in the left hand side, I just placed the hardware on it to kind of see what it was going to look like. All right, and after waiting 24 hours, the next night I took off all the painter's tape. I was so excited, everything dried perfectly. And then I went ahead because I pre-drilled everything. This step went really, really fast. I screwed in all of the hardware. And I will link where I got my hardware down below. It was inexpensive and really high quality. And this is gonna be our shoe cabinet for next to our front door. So I put this really cute elephant lamp that I found in Chinatown here in Los Angeles, a picture of me and my fiance, some candles and a key dish. This is the final product. And as you can see, this is gonna be a before and after. And I think that this piece looks really expensive and really awesome. If you did like this video, please subscribe my Instagram and Pinterest and keep watching for more videos. Thank you so much, bye bye.